Hello guys, welcome to another video and this time we are at Skoda and right beside me is the all new Skoda Enyaq from 2024. This one is Enyaq 85 with coupe variant. Though look wise it hasn't gone through a massive improvement, however inside it has gone through a massive transformation with more powerful motor and efficient energy management system. And in this video we're gonna know all about this including every single little details about this all-new Skoda Enyaq 85. But before moving on with the review, it will be really great if you can take a moment and subscribe to the channel. That will help us a lot to do what we love doing and also grow to a bigger audience. And this is Raj, you watching Car Copenhagen. So without further ado, let's go, let's begin. Right off the bat, we can see a modern yet very simple design. It's contemporary yet functional without being too much in the face. That's actually the main concept with Skoda. Designing clever and make anything functional. Every single design element has some functional purpose behind it. For instance, the front here is looking really sporty. It's not only hiding all the sensors, but also represents its driving characteristics. Bold creases and angular cuts are highly visible in the front, also in throughout the car. As being electric, there is no grille, but a black contrasting cover is there. In the top spec model, you can have it with illuminated LEDs. I'm not a big fan of that, but it does elevate the look, especially at night. In this very model, the wheel arches are really big, which allows having bigger wheel up to 21 inch, though it does have some impact on ride quality and suspensions. My favorite part is the view from the side. It looks a lot cooler this way. It's a very smooth design where everything flows together in the right proportion. Long and lengthy windows are aesthetically beautiful and also ensures plenty of light on board. In fact, the Supi roofline with panoramic roof are my most favorite in this car. Multi-crease side skirts is also there for extra sporty touches. The rear is really short as it's given more focus to the ultra-wide rear windscreen. One thing I'm missing here is the rear windscreen wiper. I think having this angular design on board, I can ignore it a bit. The rear light is full of diamond cut and divided into two parts. Overall, it's a fantastic looking car and I'm sure it was designed to look contemporary as well as stretched a lot for better functionality and practicality. Having all this said, let's explore the inside of it. But before, let's hear the door closing sound. To be honest, it sounds really solid and grounded, as it is built to last. Let's start with the door panel. It has contrasting design with sharp angular theme. Material quality is great as usual with modern touch. I like the door opener here. It's pretty unique and sturdy as well. In the lower part, there are some hard plastics. On the good side, the door bin is really big and wide with great entrance to it. For longer item. In addition, you also get full flashed window control with proper traditional switches. It's just a Skoda thing. Lastly, here you go, the place for your umbrella. Depending on the trim level, you will have lots of electronic adjustment for the seats. Let's move on to the steering wheel. It's a two-spoke design with proper buttons and coming with proper feedback. Though the adjustment is manual, but the color contrast, silver trimming and the fine leather wrapping makes it really desirable to hold. I really love the first impression here. Otherwise, it's a very clean design with floating dash. It accepts the minimalism without sacrificing the traditional part of it. And that's the beauty of the Skoda. It's a perfect balance between modern and traditional approach. The infotainment system screen is pretty big. Here you have two wireless charging pads for your phones with two USB port, then a big cup holder with gripping mechanism. Interestingly enough, the gear selector is very small but is easy to work with. A separate storage and parking brake 
are also in good reach. There is an open storage options under the center console. Though it's open but it's big enough for a purse or your wet umbrellas. The glove box is also very decent in size and has soft opening to it. Welcome to the 30 inch mighty display. Though it sounds big but with this bigger dash it looks really perfect and well proportioned. All the most used options like climate control, home page and option to menu are fixedly located in the bottom of the screen and all major settings options are located on top. Using this infotainment system is easy and it's fairly intuitive. It's not extremely brilliant but it's easy to work with and gets the job done. The screen resolution is good and doesn't reflect much in sunlight. In addition, it offers smart link solutions for connecting with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. If you want to use built-in navigation, it's also possible. The map is really responsive and able to calculate pretty fast accurately. All in all, it's a great system that's suitable for any non-tech savvy person and all can adopt to it very easily. Let's move to another important element like armrest. At first, here is the removable shallow storage, then another removable storage. If it is taken out, then you get a deep storage there. The most clever thing here is the top of the armrest can be adjusted in three different heights to match the need of a driver. That's very unique and mostly uncommon in today's cars. The sun visor is connected with a bright light and also thicker in size. On the roof, there is a dedicated SOS button with bright spotlights. Now let's look at the panoramic roof. It takes a cabin ambient to another level, allowing lots of natural light inside. All in all, it's a pleasure sitting here in the front as the seats are really comfortable with huge adjustment options. As it is ergonomically correct and support all around your back. On a good note, the seats can be customized a lot with various trims as per your preference. However, this trim itself is also very beautiful. Now, let's get into the rear cabin and see what it has to offer. So far, it looks good with similar color contrast and spaciousness. Built and material quality is also very very good here. When it comes to legroom, it's pretty blooming big with ample amount of space for extending the feet. In addition, it offers multiple seat pockets for various purposes. Otherwise, the seats are covered with soft leatherette which makes it easier to clean. I am 5 feet 7 and the headroom is also pretty good for me, even with the slopey roofline. But for taller adult, it might have some issues with banging their head against the side roof. For better air conditioning, here is rear AC vent with individual control along with some USB port. Interestingly, this floor storage is completely removable. If you don't need, then you just take it off and then you get a completely flat floor. It's an amazing way to gain some extra storage cleverly. Another cool addition is the privacy curtain at the rear, allowing a sophisticated touch. All in all, it's a very spacious place to be with some comfortable seats which are maintained with same quality as front. If we look at the armrest, it looks simple and functional with soft leather touch. But when you need to have cup holders, it does open and give you space for two regular size cup. Not only that, when you need to carry longer item, it opens up and ensures better practicality. Lastly, it offers some bright reading lights, soft closing handle and several hooks to to hang your coats or dress. Most importantly, the pleasure of having panoramic sunroof can be enjoyed fully from the back here. Just look at it. Isn't it amazing? I certainly love it. Now, let's check at the boot and as I am very curious to know how they have improved it 
from already improved boot. It offers 585 liters of cargo space with two side storage for anything requires the division. The side surface is fabricated for less rustling noise. Tethering points are very frequent here with a special hanger for shopping bags. This special hook can have bags with electronic cables in place. This magical button can quickly release the trailer hook, otherwise it remains hidden until you need it. In addition, here is also an underflow storage for things better remain hidden. Though the beginning is robust, but it has significant load lip, which means loading heavy item will be difficult. But once in, it has place for everything for household. When the rear seat is folded, it can have 1710 liters of space. However, the floor is not all flat. A little hint to Skoda on what to improve next time. In the front, it doesn't offer any cargo space like Tesla or any other car, but this new Skoda Enyaq 85 comes with 58 kilowatt hour and 82 kilowatt hour usable battery, which provides maximum 286 brake horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 in just 6.7 seconds. Charging is also improved as it can now support DC fast charging up to 135 kilowatt max and it takes from 10 to 80 percent of the battery can be filled within 28 the pricing starts from 375,000 danish crown and goes up to 424,000 danish crown and in uk it starts from 45,000 pound and 50,000 euro in netherlands and 49,000 euro in germany the price for coupe will vary a bit though. Here is the power consumption statistics from our test. As it was tested with various driving patterns, the result looked quite realistic and something relatable to the claim. All in all, it was a great driving experience with this car. Now let's continue the review. Enough of talking, now it's time to hit the road. As soon as you sit in the car, you feel how spacious this car is. I mean, it's just amazing. Now I am heading towards the motorway and I get to test the pickup a little bit here although we are in the middle of the traffic so I'm not gonna try the acceleration too hard but I can feel the power a little bit in this car in the motorway this car is really good this car picking up the speed very nicely without giving any jerk of whatsoever I really like that and also it's reasonably quiet inside the cabin even in the busy motorway visibility all around is really really great I must appreciate the side mirror over here they are huge if you turn them on the right setting towards the road a little bit more I'm sure you're gonna cover all of the road and that's very unusual compared to the other cars the very car I'm driving right now is the ENIAC 85 while cruising in the motorway you feel very very stable connected to the ground the driver's display I must talk about it's, it's it's really in good size many many people might say it's a little bit small but I, I really think it's adequate in size and you don't need anything bigger than that and it's able to give you all the information that you really need and you must see on the road while driving I really like that characteristics on a Skoda they really keep you engaged in the driving not too much distracted in the technology and infotainment system and all that however the big screen over here are really in good shape because it's got the right length and that covers all the information for you and even if you have to use it you can use it without being distracted too much it's in the correct length the seat is really comfortable and coming up with a lot of adjustments so I'm sure anybody will be fine here I am certainly very fine and happy with this driving position here the visibility and all going on around me I can just give a quick glance and everything is in my head it's amazing the braking is also very strong especially in the motorway in a sense that it gives you kind of confidence that it will stop when you require it to be stopped and I I can say that because I'm trying that few times here uh, as the motorway is really busy as I said earlier the braking system gives you very much confidence and that's make the driving actually so effortless and natural to the regular car. I mean, apart from being quiet, 
you can't really say this one is 100% electric. The driving, the display, the setup, the buttons, everything and the steering wheel with a lot of functionality in built. I mean, it is very close to a regular combustion car. So people are thinking about switching over to Skoda and being electric. This car has no learning curve. It's really going to take you in as you are. What I like most about this car, this car can be very gentle when you want it to be gentle. But as soon as you need to take over somebody or get out of some kind of situation on the road, this car is ready to help you with that with instant speed. I mean, that's the thing I'm seeing the most different from previous Enyaq and this one. The horsepower and the power they have claimed on this car is actually correct. And you can feel it while driving. Making a turn in the roundabout with this car. It's perfect. Nicely handled. Now I'm taking this car in a smaller road with a 50 speed and with a lot of road bumps to see how the suspension works and also as being the big car it is, how difficult it is to maneuver. Driving even in the small road with this car in the zigzag, it's not an issue. I really, really like the way it handles. What makes this car unique is it's definitely smoother when you're driving in the straight line but at the same time, if you need to take a bendy road or driving through bumps and everything, it's really balanced out everything. And that's what is the Skoda is all about, right? It's balancing out everything, taking care of all the needs. I'm really enjoying driving this car. It's like nothing more you can ask for in one car. This car really has got the power that you want to use time to time. but but it's more than enough in daily driving let me tell you that the steering wheel also in good size and very comfortable to hold what i like most this is precise handling of the steering wheel this is not under steering neither it's over steering even in normal mode it's really really precise the overall handling is really good the acceleration is pretty good so the braking and also the steering wheel handles very precisely but where i am missing a little bit is in the suspension i personally think the suspension could have been a little bit better the suspension a little bit on the stiffer side however it's not uncomfortable it's not a jerky feeling it's comfortable but the cushiony feeling is a little bit less than any other car you might see in these days especially talking about byd seal u that we have done the review of you can check in the in our channel has better suspension it feels more comfortable a fantastic all-rounder car has been made by skoda one more time kudos to skoda team the way you deal with the tight traffic in the motorway this car is a perfect invention in the perfect time from skoda before before skoda was lacking a little bit in the power maybe taking a little bit too much time so it couldn't cover the people who are a little bit more enthusiastic about being sporty on the road but this car is ticking all the boxes with more horsepower and more precise handling this car is ticking all the boxes and the safety system also in the driver's display is telling me every time about what's going on around me and also being seated in the higher position you have really commanding view of the road and when you got the speed at the same time on your pedal you feel really special i just like the sound of this indicator it's really a pleasure to your ear from the driving point of view i think it's really really a comfortable car to drive on a daily basis even for a short commute and mostly for longer journeys you will enjoy this car throughout no doubt about that it's got a lot of safety features built in and you can opt for many others if that's your requirement but what is coming as a standard it's more than enough all in all i must say it's a great car with great driving ability it was a great driving this car all in all it's a great car produced by skoda as usual they always have understood the convenience and practicality needs of a driver on the road and every car they made they managed to fit into this and this enyaq is no exception at all
as the most practicality and convenience has been taken care of on this car and also at the same time the build quality and material quality is really really good and very competitive according to the modern time standard as now this car has got more powerful motor and efficient driving system in place i believe skoda now can accommodate bigger number of road users and having that said i have no doubt this is one of the best suvs that your money can buy if not the best one and that's all i have to say in this video until next time please take care and drive safe and as always thank you ever so much for watching car copenhagen